Hello friends today we will discuss about all about dialysis catheter. Dialysis is the treatment necessary when there is kidney failure. This means it is an end stage kidney failure and the kidney has lost 85% to 90% of the functionality. During this treatment, it is necessary to use a catheter to exchange blood to and from a hemodialysis machine and a patient. This is also known as the dialysis catheter. Dialysis catheter is very useful in the process of dialysis, which is necessary for the process of cleaning the blood in the event of kidney failure. It's also vital medical equipment is necessary for patients waiting for a kidney transplant. The dialysis catheter consists of two lumens, venous and arterial which are both in the vein. The arterial lumen that carries blood away from the heart are like natural arteries. This will usually be red in color and serves the purpose of transferring blood from the patient to a dialysis machine. The venous lumen returns blood in the direction of the heart. This will usually be blue in color and serves the purpose of transferring blood from machine to the patient. Dialysis Dual Lumen Catheter Patient in need of dialysis requires dual lumen catheters for the special purpose of vascular access. They ensure continuous venovenous hemofiltration. CVVH, in patients who are critically ill and have kidney problems. It is successful in affecting other requirements for thrombogenicity, hemodynamics, or flow resistance. Dialysis Catheter Hemodialysis Catheters A treatment recommended for kidney failure, when in stage 5 kidney disease is known as hemodialysis. Patients with stage 5 kidney disease mean their kidney has lost the ability to clean the blood and remove additional fluids from the body. At this time it becomes necessary to perform this process externally by reaching the blood. The method of reaching the blood is referred to as hemodialysis access. The access method for hemodialysis can be one of the following. An avenue graft made by using a soft tube to join an artery and a vein in your arm. An avenue fistula made by joining an artery and vein in your arm. An avenue catheter, this is a soft tube that is placed in a large vein. Such a vein will usually be found in the neck. Thus, the catheter useful for the process of hemodialysis is called the hemodialysis catheter. It is necessary to place this catheter under the skin and hence it is often referred to as a tunneled catheter. The hemodialysis tunneled catheters can be of one of the two types cuffed or not cuffed. The non-cuffed tunneled catheter is usually only put into use during an emergency and implemented for a short period of time. It is recommended to use up to a period of three weeks only. On the other hand, the tunneled cuffed catheters can be used for more than three weeks. The typical conditions when it may be necessary to make use of it is when an avenue fistula or graft is in place but is not yet ready for use. It is also useful when there is no option for permanent access and the patient's blood vessels are not strong enough for a fistula or graft. If one is not careful with a catheter, the access may clot or become infected. The potential issue of clotting can either occur inside the catheter or on the outside of the catheter. This will result in the blocking of the opening resulting in a slowdown in the rate of flow of blood. Although this is not a major issue. If left unchecked for long has the potential of turning into something big. A slow blood rate can cause an infection, thus it is necessary to be alert when using and be aware of all the signs and symptoms of a catheter infection to prevent the infection from escalating. For more about dialysis catheter visit at www.surgicalhouses.com. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to share and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon to get the latest updates of our videos.